Hey YouTubeverse, this is my review of the Nemo Dagger 2P. So the uh, Nemo Dagger 2P, two people, two person, uh, there's a lot of reviews out there, gear reviews and such for this tent, so I'm not going to try to replicate those. Um, just give you my impressions having used it several nights and this being, uh, let's see, March 27th, 2021, still a bit of snow on the ground, uh, not a four season tent, not a winter tent, but we're close enough to get this into the three seasons, right? So my impressions overall is this is a solid tent. It is a freestanding tent, meaning that you have all of the internal frame structure with the poles, you connect them to all four corners, and you go ahead and uh, you can basically move it around as you want. It does not use trekking poles to stand up at all. So that's kind of nice if you're not a trekking pole tent kind of person. Uh, I think that this is a really good sturdy build overall. It does the job plenty well. I've been through a hailstorm with it, rainstorms easily. It didn't seem to have any leaks at all. And it does, it does sag a little bit because it is still nylon, but that is something to be said for this kind of a tent. It is a double wall tent. And out here being with all the moisture, I'm gonna have a little bit of condensation, not on the walls really, but it'll just be a little bit on my sleeping quilt. So not much of a problem. I really enjoy this tent. It's a pretty good tent in my opinion. I've used it seven nights, like I've said. It's gone through a couple of paces with me already. It doesn't take that long to set up. It's actually pretty quick if you just get it down. Uh, the one thing that's kind of a drawback is that if you really want to go ahead and fully stake down everything, you're going to need eight stakes, and that's for the two vestibules. It does have two vestibules. That's nice. They are pretty decent in size, but you will need eight stakes because each vestibule has two points. So you can get away with one point per. That's fine. Not, not a problem. But if you're looking to really stake this down and get it as taut as you can, you're going to need eight stakes, which is a little bit of a con for me. Uh, the price point is pretty reasonable, so that's not a con for me. It's, it seems pretty reasonable given what's out there on the market, and Nemo's a solid company. Um, so I'll go ahead and I'll take you inside and show you what I like and what I don't like about this tent. Okay, so starting off here real quick, what I do like about this tent, like I said, the vestibules are nice and spacious. Uh, it does a pretty good job. You can also roll these back, these ties back, so you get that, and it has this drawstring. You can do the same thing with the door. So the vestibule and the door, you can both tie them back on both, which is really nice. You can see in here, I've got my 10 degree quilt with my pad, and it is nice and spacious. I've got plenty of room throughout the tent. I'm not touching by any any stretch of the imagination. And I've got plenty of room here on the sides for all of my stuff, for all my gear, I should say. So it has a lot of room. I can fit pretty much everything in this tent. I don't have to leave my pack outside if I don't want to. Uh, one thing I will tell you about though, is that make sure you get this on the, on the rain fly. You snap this part down here. Um, because I did miss that a couple times. It's not going to hurt anything. Just make sure you do that so it's more stable. Um, you do have here, and Nemo is kind of known for this, having the light diffusing pockets. These are the pockets here to do that. Just put your headlamp in there, and it'll make a nice diffusing light. You do have the pockets here. And these are the only two pockets you've got. So this one here, this one here, you do not have them on the accompanying sides. But I think that's really enough. I mean, that's plenty enough. You have the loops here you can for example take a shoestring and thread it through and create sort of a uh, hanging clothesline if you will um, so that's nice you have these guys here you can lash them or you can even roll this back and it can do that here you can so essentially you can take this vestibule and roll it all the way back out um, so i've never i've never had to do that but so if you want it, it has a couple of tie out points here provided so you have extra security for the wind You can add that here for this and you can add one down here below. I've never encountered anything that really required that much uh, Stability, but I will say this is a really good tent. I really have enjoyed this 
tent, sleeping in it. It's pretty easy to pitch. It is pretty decent. Uh, well, it's actually, it's, it's, it's a pretty good size for one person. Um, so yeah, I'll give you some more thoughts. So guys, that's my general impression. Uh, overall, like I've said before several times and I'm being repetitive, this is a really good tent. I would buy, I'd buy it, I'd recommend it. Um, it packs down pretty light. You can remove the pole structure so you can have one on the outside of your pack and then the tent inside your pack. Pretty simple and easy. I would say that this would be a tight squeeze for two people. One person, sure, that's that's great, not a problem. You have ample room, um, and I think we all kind of know, or if you're new to the backpacking and camping community, just a tip or piece of advice, however many people are gonna have in a tent, up it by one, so that way you have ample room. So if you're gonna just be by yourself, like I'm a solo camper and, and hiker, I buy a 2P pretty much every single time because I, you, you just need that little extra room. If you buy a 1P, uh, I do have a, a Nemo Hornet 1P, one person tent, that is tight. That is tight, there, there is, I mean, that's minimalistic. Um, so definitely make sure that you up it one, so that way you just give yourself some room to put your stuff in there. Um, and you'll have a much better experience in my opinion. But overall, really like this Nemo Dagger two person tent. It's fantastic. It, I have a ground sheet, but I'm not using it today. It's just one night, an overnighter, so no biggie. But I would definitely recommend this to anybody who's looking to get into it, into backpacking and camping, and you don't necessarily want to go Dyneema and break the bank, or you don't want to go something that's semi-freestanding or trekking pole-like. This is a good freestanding tent. It definitely has a lot of a lot going for it. The cons would be the eight stakes. Um, another con might be that it's still nylon, it's not Dyneema. But that's, you know, that's not a here or there. Uh, that's just a kind of a personal preference. Like, I do like Dyneema, but that is expensive. And that's getting into a whole other realm of, of tents and camping. So uh, anyways, I hope you like this review. I didn't want to just go over everything that everybody else has ever done. Uh, you know that there's pockets, you know there's light diffusing pockets up there. I personally, that little, those little loops on the top, I would go ahead and string a, a string or a shot cord or a long shoestring or, or, you know, just, you know, paracord or whatever over that. Make it a clothesline so you can hang your wet clothes and let that dry overnight. That's pretty handy. Or you could hook a lamp to that. Um, they've got a lot of options for that kind of stuff. So whatever your creativity can come up with is what I would say is the limit. Um, but with that, I'm going to go ahead and probably uh, call this one. I uh, hope you enjoyed this sort of mini quick review of the uh, Dagger 2P. Like I said, it's worth it in my opinion. Uh, there's a lot out there. Nemo's a solid company, so give it a shot. And if you have any comments or anything, suggestions, anything, uh, let me know in the comments below. And if you found this video remotely useful, just give it a thumbs up, give it a like. Um, consider subscribing only if you want to. I mean, whatever, who cares? Um, nobody's gonna watch this, so it doesn't matter. Uh, but hopefully somebody found this useful if you're thinking about getting into this or thinking about this and the Dragonfly. Uh, I found this, I don't have the Dragonfly experience, but I have the Dagger experience and that's it's, it's pretty spacious. So anyways, thanks so much for listening to me ramble on and uh, have a great one. Bye.